home and they just sent it over and asked me to build it. One thing to always remember is I'm sponsored by Creality. I'd never lie, of course, but just in case, I'm going to link to some other opinions on this printer in the description box. I don't know enough about it, just say too much. So let's unbox it, put it together, and test it out. So as usual, it comes with the two box instruction and filament. All the essential uh, screws for the 3D printer already packed in the back. And if you don't have tools at home, all the Allen keys are also in the back. It's raining cats and dogs outside. It's spring festival, so it rains every day these days. My clothes doesn't even dry that fast, but it doesn't matter because um, I have a lot of clothes for me to change. Okay. Now let's plug in these right uh, wires. Only three cable so it's a uh, free wire so it's very easy to uh, know where the precision is x uh, to the x motor and uh, e and x okay And then we're going to auto level the bed. Okay, now we see the filament is coming out. So we can start printing what's on the um, SD card. All right, this is the Benchy boat. Um, this comes out a bit better 
then even then the end of free uh, right out of the box there's um, no string string no nothing it's it does what it's supposed to do it's very clean and um, this one is good but this one this is the torture cube from my friend Maker Muse. It failed. Now most of the printer can do that out of the box. They can print like a complete uh, torture cube. It's a little bit of twerking, but still, I would like to see it print out of the box successfully. I think it will work eventually with a little bit of the work on the slicer and stuff. If you're interested in the torture cube model, I'm going to put a link in the description box. Okay, I'd look at this as a practical upgrade to an Ender Free. It has most of the things that you'd want to upgrade an Ender Free yourself, but without the extra hours of time and fiddling around to get all that working. The print quality is about what you'd get out of an upgraded Ender Free. It's really about what your time is worth and if you are a 3D printer hobbyist who likes to print things or who likes to fine tune and more their printer. This is a 3D printer for people who just want to print and will pay a bit more to have all those upgrades already done. It comes with a soft magnetic bed. This is what I prefer to print on. Some people prefer glass. Glass is fine also if you are willing to print a bit slower. All that moving weight can create Z-axis artifacts. Yes, I know many people disagree.